Teeth number, can't see it. Sick. Okay. Now, this is this. I hate to think what's going to happen now. I really do. Um, just, we'll, we'll listen to the to the staff advice, but we've got to also remember that staff have put one hell of a lot of um, time and effort into this, um, having roughly over a million dollars worth of applications for 400 grand's worth of money. Um, you've done extremely hard, done extremely well, and um, I, I believe, my view is, that we should leave it to the staff recommendation, not that I'm predetermining anything, um, because you know what you're doing. That's what, to pull it back here when one of us might say, oh, we'll take five bucks off this person, we'll give three dollars to this one, and we relitigate it, it's going to drive me insane. But anyway, let's fire away and see what happens. Are you, Tim's happy to move it? Yeah, so we'll carry it. I might have summed up what you just about were going to say anyway. <laughs> A little bit, yeah. I'll second it, yeah. yeah. Do you want us to go here? Yeah, yeah, yep. far away, sorry. Okay, yeah. so um, just a couple of introductions. I know you all know Josh. Um, this is Catherine um, Manning, who's been leading the technical assessment of the work. Um, you're correct, the, um, your key point is the one I was going to lead with. We've got <laughs> $416,000 and we had 58 applicants seeking $1.8 So it has been a difficult process to allocate this fund. Um, as you know, the fund is to support climate action. Um, we've had 15 different teams across council involved and some of the assessors are here, so if you did have detailed questions, we're hoping we can answer them. But there may be some uh, areas where we're not, and you know, we don't have quite the right people in the room. So. Um, we're just going to give you a very short overview of the process and then we'll move on to take, taking the quarters read. Tanakoto called Catherine Tokuingawa. So the, this is an annual fund um, and the te technical assessments were made on each application by subject matter experts from across council. And this was done within three weeks of the fund closing. Then the subject matter experts presented their assessments to an evaluation panel of cross council staff for moderation and funding recommendations. So of the 58, 58 applications, 33 were recommended for funding, um, and all the details are presented in our report, which we will take as read, and we'll welcome any questions. Okay, we'll start off, if Pauline was first and then Yanni. Yeah, no, I did put one through and I got a response about the, um, um, the Richmond Residents and Business Association um, trial dog poo Bukashi. I'm just wondering, <coughs> in the total cost of that, <coughs> excuse me, is seventy two thousand eight hundred and eighty nine, and we've re you've recommended three thousand three hundred and forty five. So, so the, two, two, yeah, so two. I've got two questions. So first of all, how much of that um, project is that money going to help? And secondly, where is the real benefit in that project when people? I assume that the shall we call it the product? I assume it's already in a plastic bag. And, I, and normally we would collect that anyway in the red bins. So we council already has a process for that. And nor do I see it as a, um, an end product that can go on a, a, a food growing garden. So I'm wondering what the benefit is and how much that 3,000 is going to enable that project to go. So the project, the, 32, uh, the sorry, the 72,000 is towards the uh, larger project that the organisation are doing and have been asked to do by the community board in that, um, that that park, right. the three thousand is specifically just for that. Just for that. Just for that. Okay, so and that's that's all they requested, and that was the rest. So that you've, got, you've you've offered a hundred percent. Yeah, and the benefit? Um, it's within the um the what the community board are trying wanting to do. One of their um the outcomes from their um, plan was for the regeneration of Petri Park, and the community board have asked this organisation to complete that work, and they felt that. Um, putting this dog poo bin in was something to help achieve that. Okay, you're good. Mm, no. I just don't see the benefit to the city really on that. Would it, I mean, is it sort of a project that could be rolled out across the city on a huge way? Or, I mean, we, we could it. And I know you said it's only 3,000, but it's still quite a bit of money. It was positioned as a trial. Um, we don't have the assessor here, unfortunately, to give the detail around it, but um, from my recollection, the conversation was around the um, reduction of flow-on effects into rivers and waterways over time, if that did, did become a functioning way to deal with uh, dog poo. 
Oh, okay, so they're cleaning up the park when people don't pick it up. No, I believe they use it. They're wanting people to use it um, when they go there. Yeah, but, um, but I think it's essentially a trial to see if that's a good way to manage a composting approach too. Okay. No, look, that's helpful. That makes more sense. Thank you. Yep. Okay, um, Yanni, please. Just um, the recycle the device, um, and I was quite keen to ask our waste team what was happening in that space. Obviously, we didn't have time for questions, but um, it's great to see them getting funding. I just, I guess the question for me is, um, why not give them more? Um, it seems like a really important thing. I think it's something that we've flagged through our waste recovery strategies. Um, so I was quite interested just to kind of understand a little bit about the quantum and whether there was value in giving them more. Uh, it's a recycled device, so it's digital future out there on. I'll just make a broad comment, which was that very few applicants got their full request for funding, and that was simply because we did not have the um, funds available. So what we tried to do was spread the funds across as many of the um, recommended um, applicants as possible, which largely meant that everybody missed out on a little bit. Yeah, so some groups, I mean, some groups that are arguably... Um, uh, how can I put this? Some groups that do a lot of similar work are getting funded to a much higher extent. This is the only group that's dealing with e-waste in terms of the applicants. There might be other groups in the community, but yeah, it does seem to me like, are, are we able to get an understanding around what we're doing in that e-waste space? So um, that project also received 20,000 from the Waste Minimisation Grant for um, laptop repair workshops. So when, with the assessors, they went through each of the projects and because we knew that how overly subscribed that the fund was, they looked to see what level of funding we could do that would still allow them to let the project continue. Yeah. So is, is there a way, just obviously waste minimisation funding, but is there a way that we could partner with that group to do more, like we've done with some of the other groups? It may be something we can follow up with um, the assessor. Okay. Um, who isn't unfortunately here today to see All if there right. is a way to cool. kind of maximise that or... Yeah, thank you. Okay, any more questions, anybody? Right, we'll fire into debate. Thank you for your time. Any debate? Thank you. Very good. Okay, so, right, what we've got the... Yeah, I see. Yeah, I see. Yeah, I see. Yeah, we've got... we're right up with Sam. Yep. Okay. I just found you up in there. Uh-huh, yeah, right. So I'll put that motion. All those in favour? Aye. Aye. Against? Thank you. Carried. Thank you very much. Right. Shall we do the measurement? Yes.